Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're checking out big ambitions today. Developers, thank you for a key. Speaking of these developers, I've played one of their games before. This one right here, Startup Company. Also, this video is sponsored by Dislight. Until then, it's time for new game. First things first, it's character creator time. And for our name, we're going with an old favorite. Chad can't wait to hit the slopes. Oh, we have limited characters this time. Fair enough, we'll slim it down. How about we'll still make his name Chad Broski, but we'll still give him a nickname of just bro, 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 bro. And of course, he's got locks of blonde hair. Oh, the choices are too many. We're gonna go with this one because he has a larger forehead, and obviously that means he's got more brains. I like how he looks down like that's that's not at all true. And now let's move on to clothing. What are you trying to do with this normal looking attire? What, do you want to look presentable in daily life? Or attractive? Or business ready? I think you've left us no choice but to go with muscle tea with a really thick turtleneck. Yeah. And thank God we can have that in black. What a stud. And now we need to get rid of those pesky pants. Business gurus don't wear jeans. They wear cargo shorts. And not just any cargo shorts. Camouflage pattern ones. And now for the shoes. Dress shoes, obviously. And we'll go brown so they clash. Wow, look at that ensemble. Are you here for every CEO job ever? Because you look ready for it. Strap on your bros because you're broing in. Ah, oh, good. This is what I wanted in my business game. Some tragic backstory. It's been three months since grandma died. I know that I'm an adult now, that I'm 18 years old, but blah, 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 continue. Okay, so here we are in. Hey kid, I hope you're feeling better. Anyway, I talked with a friend. Not now, story. I want to check out the game. Okay, so here we are in Big Ambitions. You know, I don't know why, but this is not what I was expecting. I didn't realize we'd be able to run in front of cars and upset people. And you know, I couldn't help but notice a couple of things here. One, we're a stud. And two, we have a couple of meters here. We we have energy, not to mention hunger and thirst, and happiness. And we have $15,000 in our pocket as we stand and block traffic at midnight. And also the game really wants me to go to 45 Third Street, which if we look at our objectives here, we have some tasks from Uncle Fred, which must have been this guy that we shut up instantly. You know what? Let's worry about all that later. I want to see what happens when our energy runs out right here. So here goes nothing. Well, looks like we have a free moment. So let's pull out our mobile and take a gander at our sponsor. And that's Dislight, which is free to play on Android and iOS and is full of fat beats. If you haven't heard me talk about Dislight before, it's a turn-based role-playing game set in a futuristic world with an emphasis on being an audio-visual experience. It also focuses on showing off classic mythological figures in a whole new light and calling them espers. Like, this is Thor. How dapper. And right now, Dislight has just launched two new espers. Twin sisters named Athena and Nyx. Athena, or Leora, is serious and meticulous, whereas Nyx, or Elaine, is, well, none of those things. But in a good way. See, look at those sick moves. And you'll want them in your party of mythological misfits, which means taking part in a limited time event, where players can control Athena through a labyrinth-like world to uncover the mysterious story around these two brand new characters. And from doing this, you'll get Nyx for free during the event. That's a five-star hero. So if this sounds good to you, or if the fat beats sound good to you, or if you sound good to you, there's a linky in the description, and also a cute QR code you can scan to download the game for yourself for free. And use promo code Dusk and Dawn to get massive rewards as well. And thanks again to Dislight for sponsoring. Okay, all of our energy is gone, but we're not starving yet. But Chad Broski isn't afraid of such things, especially when Chad Broski's been holding up traffic for hours. I might give them a little temptation that things are getting better, but don't worry. It's just Chad having a little fun. Oh, there we go. It's nap time. Oh boy, we're being taken to the hospital. You had no more energy and passed out. The local authorities transported you here to the hospital to recover. All the way here to the hospital waiting room. Well, lucky me. I guess while we're here, we should probably check out our surroundings. You don't care, do you? You look pretty busy on that computer doing nothing. Yeah, something tells me you're not gonna mind. Okay, so let's see. We've got the salad bar, which when I clicked, he's automatically running all the way around. He must know something we don't. Never mind. He just wanted to be over here, I guess. The salad bar remains out of our reach. You think this doctor cares that I'm just in his office? Hey, you know, while I'm here, could you explain for me why I passed out for no reason? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you were busy too. And then when I click on his desk... Oh good, we have a seat. And even though the game says we're not able to offer you any of our special treatments, I couldn't help but notice that time is still passing. Do you think he ever goes home? Only one way to find out. Also, what the hell is this? Oh wow, someone's in for a crazy night, huh? Is this pizza cereal? I mean, whatever, I would try it. Well, here it is, 10 a.m. the next day. Doc, how are you feeling? Because I don't know if anyone's ever told you this, but you have amazing posture. 
Oh, I think Chad's getting tired. Oh, how nice of you to get up just to pass out again. You're being taken to the hospital. Well, I would certainly hope so. What an expensive hotel this basically is. Oh, hey, you know what I just noticed? I'm down to $11,000. Oh, well, good golly, Miss Molly. It turns out it costs us $2,000 every time we do this. Anyway, with $4,000 left than we started, let's go take a gander outside. Ugh, the game really wants us to go to this objective. And you can see more about that if we open up our BizPhone 1.0. And now let's go to Google Maps. Maps. Oh my goodness, here we are. I believe this is actually New York, by the way. Or I mean, some of it. There appears to be limits to how far we can go over here. Ugh, road closed, but there's probably viable businesses over there. Look at this lady sitting here waiting to cross the street. Hey, dummy, there's no cross traffic. Okay, you win this round. I guess this side of the city is just quarantined. Also, I'm using a free cam that's not supposed to allow you to get this close. As you can tell by my stunning appearance. Well, whatever, there's more fun to be had. Uh, excuse me, share the road please. Haha, -ha, take that. You have to stop for the lights and I don't. Hold on, I'm lane changing. Ow. Hey, hey, you're lucky I don't sue. Instead, look at my shorts. Don't you realize you're talking to an 18-year-old future CEO? Oh yeah, see, there you go. Get a good look. Don't worry, I'll wait. As will all these other cars. Oh, now we've done it. Oh yeah, good. Give the grill a little kiss before you pass out. Wow, well, here we are again. Okay, let's try this again. Oh my goodness, and what's this? It looks like a coffee shop of sorts. And we can actually go into any of these buildings. And look at that, there's a whole establishment in here. I know this sounds obvious, but we've got tables, and chairs, and croissants, mm. and soda cans, mm. and busy employees. All the things you need to have a functioning business. Except a little light on the decor, I see. Hey, can I come over here and serve myself? You guys don't mind that I'm back here, right? You need to interact with the cashier to purchase an item, but they only taste good if I steal them. But the whole point about this is this is a running business in the world with, oh my god, look at all this business. What a freaking nightmare. Imagine waiting in line for this. Imagine being one of these people, merging with other people's bodies just for that sweet, sweet cup of coffee. But also imagine if we wanted to run this business. And that's pretty much what this game is all about. I mean, not specifically this place. I don't actually work here. I'm just painfully, painfully in the way. But the point is, we could buy this place. Like, check this out. Click on the old biz man down here, and you get all kinds of fun stats that I don't really care about except for the word send business takeover. But we can't do that yet because this place has a valuation of $2,700,000. But beyond that, there's a bunch of good information like the market value and the customer capacity, which I don't believe for a second. Hey, wait, where's everybody going? Oh, is it closing time? Well, aren't you all so polite? Well, okay, fine. I guess we should leave too. No, wait, I forgot to order my coffee. Let me back in. This business is currently closed. Tip, you can sleep on benches. Oh my god, it's like this game knows what I want and need. I mean, it is 11 o'clock at night and we're looking a little tuckered out. So quickly, let's go find a park bench to sleep on. Let's see, if I were a park bench, where would I be? My god, this is some... My god, this is surprisingly hard to find a bench to sleep on. Ah, here we go. A park bench all for me, while this guy watches me sleep. I guess it's a good thing I don't care. Nighty night. Oh, we're back. Hello. Thank you, kind citizen, for protecting me in my sleep. And I hope you're well situated, because we're going for round two. I need my park bench beauty sleep, and I need it now. Well, good news, it looks like when you sleep like this over and over again. Turns out you don't need food, just energy. I mean, look how young and spry we are. Out of my way, ambulance. I'm feeling too good to stop. Oh my god, this makes me so happy. This fancy car wants to pass so badly, and every time it thinks it has a chance, it doesn't. In fact, where does it think it's going? No! 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 Anyway, the whole town is in coffee shops. If we take a quick gander, there's actually all kinds of stuff. Like, if we toggle on all of the active businesses, that sure is a lot of activity. For example, let's go take a look at- actually, hold on. Are you, uh, are you gonna use all that bench? Because, I mean, if you're not, I wouldn't mind taking a quick little nap. Oh, you know, never mind. I'll just take a nap right here. Thanks for the $2,000 ride back to the hospital. Actually, this makes me wonder something. If they're gonna take $2,000 of my dollars every single time I pass out, will they still charge me if I don't have any money? I mean, we know the answer's probably gonna be yes, but there's only one way to find out. Isn't that right, disgruntled doctor with a torn shirt? Okay, good night. If you could put me on the other side of the thing, that'd be nice. Hey, look, personal goal achieved. Become hospitalized five times. We're doing such good things for ourselves. Ah, uh, yeah, you don't know me yet, but you will. I'm the guy that's gonna pass out in your waiting room. 
This actually takes a while to do, by the way. I'm trying to get my laps in to see if he'll just pass out a little faster. Doc, you gotta help me. I think I need to pass out right here on the floor behind you. Hey, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank God there's so many places to pass out in a hospital. Okay, here we are. Moment of truth. We're down to our last 1,000, which means one more and we'll be in the negatives. Yeehaw. And for this last one, let's go get some fresh air. Haven't passed out in the middle of an intersection in a while, and I feel like now is the time. Oh, and how convenient. An ambulance to catch me when I fall. And here we are on day 18. Total profit zero. Oh, we're just in debt now. I don't know why I didn't see that coming. Okay, hang on a second. Now that I'm in the negative money range, can I still run around and buy goods and services? Like, if I go into this place, the green salad. Hello, sir. Yes, I would like to buy a soda and a salad and a burger and a hot dog and some french fries. I don't have this 2390, but surely you'll understand. I have to get in line. Well, of course I do. Hello, may I have all my things, please? I love how the employee actually has to walk and pick up each individual thing. Thank you, I'll take it. Oh, okay, I don't have enough money. But I couldn't help but notice I'm still in the queue. Oh, wait a minute. Does everybody just have to wait on me now? Are you serious? Am I just tying up this whole register? Are we forever locked in a game of chicken to see who blinks first? I bet you people behind me are really happy you picked this line. But yeah, it looks like we're gonna be here for all of eternity. Forever locked into a stalemate. While this other employee back here does all the work. I mean, I could end this suffering by just leaving the queue. But why would I do that? Because now I think we need to know how long we can hold these people up in line. Hopefully forever. Oh, Yes, it's closing time. I mean, for these people, not for us. Wait a minute, what is the cashier doing now? It looks like they're collecting all my items again. And then it's like, you don't have enough money. And then they try to do it all over again. Oh my God, this is amazing. It never stops. The transaction fails and then they try again, even after they're closed. Well, I guess now we have to see how long this is gonna go and see if this person just keeps trying to do this forever. Well, we're still here. These employees never went home, by the way, but they're working again, I can tell you that much. And I can't imagine why, but these idiots queued up behind me again. Also, for some weird reason, our guy looks a little tired of standing. But more wild than that is our energy is all the way gone. As far as I can tell, we should be passing out by now. But we're not. You know what that means, right? How long can we stand in line? And how long will this employee put up with this? Well, as you can see, we're still here. It's now day 27. We haven't passed out yet. I guess we should see what happens if we actually leave the queue. Something tells me I know what's gonna happen. <sighs> Oh, good. I'm glad to see it's business as usual. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. Okay, well, I think we know where this is going, right? Are we in agreement that we need to find out something? Like that if we go into one of these establishments and we hit up the worker here, I'll have one soda, please. Why do I have to wait in line? What kind of honor system is this? I was there first. Anyway, we need to see if there's a limit to how long we can hold up this line. Whether it's days, months, or years, I think we need to know. So hold, please. Okay, so here we are. It's day 2,379. You might notice that we look a little older than we did before. And also that we're not in the same restaurant anymore. That's because the game crashed at some point after I left it on for days at a time. And by that point, the restaurant had gone out of business. So when I'd load back in, it was gone. And I had to find another one. As you can see, now we're 57 years old. And because so many days have passed, you would assume if you take this number and divide it by 365 days in a year, that it means he would have aged six and a half years. But it turns out that's not the case. He was 18 when we started. He aged 39 years, which I think means each year is about 60 days. What a trooper. Here, why don't you take a load off? There you go. Back to the hospital we go. Oh, hey, look who's still alive. He has a cheap apartment that uh, you could probably afford. Hey, Uncle Fred, I got some bad news. I'm pretty sure my negative $9,000 can't afford that. And also, definitely not a kid anymore. Oh, God. Well, whatever. Let's head on over to 3rd Street and see what the game does when we can't afford it. Whoa there, cowboy. How dare you try to hit a geriatric. Okay, here we finally are. Here on 3rd Street. And this must be the place. Ah, uh, yes, I see it's available for rent for $44 a day. And as predicted, we don't have enough money. Well, I guess we're not finishing the tutorial. Let's see if we can find a way to shore up our own money. So my first thought is obviously let's head over to a bank. Oh, thank goodness. There's one in the area and everything. Okay, I think this is the place. Jensen Capital. Yep, this must be the right place. Need a loan? We can help. Don't mind if I do. 
Business is closed. Chat is incensed, but not that incensed. I'll just wait on this bench. I'm sure this guy won't mind. See you in four hours, followed by four more hours, and four more, and four more. Okay, geez, are you finally open? Thank you. Well, this sure is an unassuming place. Hello, I'm here for my interrogation, please. This definitely feels legitimate, and not like a mafia front at all. Well, whatever. Chad needs money, and you've got it. Isn't that right, Larry? Larry the desk. Hi there, how can we help you today? Day. New loan. Amount to loan. How much you got, Larry? Unfortunately, we're not able to handle a combined loan amount of more than 40000 per client. Larry, I'm very unhappy about this. 40000 it is then. I'm afraid that's more than we can offer you. Can't lend you more than fifteen grand, Larry, you're lucky I'm broke and old. Fine, 15000 We can definitely help you with that. Yes, thank you, Larry. Thank you for helping me pay off my $9,000 hospital bill. Wait, can I just apply for another loan? I'm sorry, we can't give you a loan with your current economy. Fine. If I didn't have places to be right now, I would use your bathroom and I wouldn't hold back. Actually, now that we have that money, can we just invest it? Let's see. Investment fund, huh? And some of the risk is low, but one of them is medium. What is the worst that could happen there? Have all of my money. And now if you'll excuse me, Larry, I'm just gonna stand awkwardly behind you while I check my stocks. No, I don't care that you're technically closed. Okay, so far in the last two minutes, no change. Well, that's okay. I'll wait. Okay, that's not the line I want to see. I don't want to see the price go from 6000 down to a disturbingly low 5998 How dare you lose $2? I think I know how we can speed up time so that our investments could mature faster. Time to sleep over and over and over again. Look at that. It's already paying off. Over the last four days, our investments have lost six whole dollars. Meanwhile, every day, we have to pay back $9 in loan interest. What I'm trying to say is this is really working out for us. Oh my god, it's finally happening. 13 days in, the line graph is is changing. We're almost back to the original 6,000. Okay, so I've continued to sleep on this park bench. It is now day 2,523. We've been bleeding out $9 every day, but I've got some good news. Oh my god, look, it's happening. Our initial 6,000 is now 6,101. And also, we're now 60 years old, but I don't feel a day over 16. Anyway, back to sleeping. Okay, so we got good news and we got bad news. First, some good news. There was a cigarette shop here and now it's gone. Now it's a coffee shop. And now for some bad news. It is now day 4036. Mr. Broski is now 85 years old. Oh, you tired old man. Speaking of tired, this is how he walks now. Like, it doesn't even matter how much sleep he gets. He's just constantly hunched over. Anyway, back into Jensen Capital. Oh my goodness, Larry, you're still here. How come you're still so young? Anyway, if you can see from our income, we're almost at negative 15,000. This is from that loan taking away $9 a day for the last 1,655 days. But enough about that. How did our investments do? Well, this doesn't look very good, but overall, the value went from 6,000 to 11.1 thousand. Wow, what a deal. You mean I can't just roll the dice on one investment and expect it to work out? Excuse me, Sonny. Can I have another loan, please? And no, I won't look you in the eyes. Chad Broski's focusing on not dying from old age. All right, fine. Larry, if you're gonna be this way. See if I care. I'll just keep aging up until my investments overtake the loan. Okay, so the craziest thing just happened. Here I was, just standing here awkwardly, when all of a sudden, disaster struck. Because you see, it's day 4,320. And in a very short time, we're gonna go from 89 years old to 90. And it turns out that when you turn 90, something wild happens. Yep, here we are. Now, I couldn't tell you why everyone's hair is pink, but you know, I'm not all that concerned. I'm just shocked that anybody knew who I was. Also, am I just being buried in a park somewhere? How come there's no other tombstones around here? So I guess now we know. You die at 90, and the game is kind enough to turn back time to 70. Thank you, I will. Ah, here we are again. So youthful. And look, the tobacco shop is back. And thankfully, this time, we know what we need to do when it comes to our investments. And we're gonna pull out this 8,000-something dollars. Okay, now we have at least a little cash on us. And we're gonna need that because we're on borrowed time. And let me show you something I actually learned about before I died. So here we are back in the hospital. You remember this guy? Well, I learned something interesting about him, which is that he offers an extended warranty. Tell me more. I'll cut right to the chase. What we're gonna do is inject you with something called blah, 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 blah. A few minutes after the injection, your body will start to revert your aging. Typically, we see a client's body age decrease by 10 years. And obviously, we're gonna need this. But it costs $700 million. <laughs> 
So we've got 20 years to make it happen. And I know just where to start. If you take a look on our map here, all the way down at the dock is an interesting looking little building. Now this may look very unassuming at first, but it does hold a little secret as a ticket house. What does that even mean? Turns out something's coming our way that can be of use to us. And that's a casino because God, do I like conjuring money from nothing. I like that it's also this random casino boat and I'm the only one here. A gambling ship all for me? You shouldn't have. But in order to get on board, we have to go over to the ticket house and buy a casino boat ticket for $5,000. No problem, we barely have that. Thanks for picking up me and just me on this pleasure cruise. Welcome to International Waters. Good luck. Okay, so let's see. We've got slot machines and we've got blackjack and we've also got roulette. Welcome to roulette. How much would you like to bet? All of it. Red only. Best of luck, everyone. Congratulations, you won! Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. Hold, please. Well, not a bad haul for one night. We return in the morning with $35 million in our pocket. Thanks for having me aboard. The main thing that's limiting us is on the roulette tables, the maximum bet you can have is $10 million. Or excuse me, $9,999,999. So for us to get to our $700 million, it's possible, but that's going to be a lot of gambling. And why would we do that when there's a big city out there just waiting for us? <sighs> Okay, after this nap. Okay, you spry 70-year-old. It's time to go start a business. Oh, and you know what? Here's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna head to 45 Third Street, which is an objective that Uncle Fred has had for us for the last 70 years. So we might as well finally get that out of the way. Okay, here we are. 45 Third Street. So we could rent it for $9 a day, or we can send a building purchase offer, even though the building isn't for sale. And if the market value is 1.4 million, what if we offer 2 million? Send offer. The building owner accepted your offer. You're now the owner of 43 3rd Street. 43? Whoops. I bought 43 3rd Street, not 45. Oh God, this is awkward. Okay, don't panic. I know how to fix this. We can make it look like we did that on purpose by just buying out the whole block. And if we ever get to the point where there's something that costs more than we have, well, then I think we know what happens next. Why, yes, I would like to come aboard. Okay, now we've done it. We own every building on the left and right side of this street. Look at this. We got kebabs, kebabs. We've also got a discount market, not to mention a quick one stop. You know, this feels like a conflict of interest, but I don't think that's my problem. And there's so much more. We've got it all on this one street. Oh, geez, I hate choosing. Do I want to go to Joe's Hot Dogs or this Joe's Hot Dogs? Uh, excuse me, cars. I own this street now. You can't just drive anywhere you feel like it. Just like you, citizen. You stop right. What is this? Grace's office flowers. What the hell? Well, it's exactly what you think think it is. It's a flower shop owned by Grace. Well, listen, you wouldn't know this guy behind the counter, but now I've got to make this entire chain's life miserable. All because of your boss whose name is Grace. So let's head back outside and we're going to open up a competing business as close by as we can. And I don't think it can be right next door because that's a residential area. But ooh, look at this. Buckle up 365 tobacco because I'm going to rent this building to myself instead. Ta-da! And also the moment I close this screen, the existing employee just evaporated. Look at this. The storefront is already gone. Oh, wow. And the place is already vacant. I'm not sure how you did it, but thanks, I guess. Either way, it's time. Let's start a new business. For now, we're going to focus on being a florist just so we can crush grace. Enter name of your business. Don't shop there. Ah, yes. How professional looking. Yes, it definitely doesn't look like this place has beef with this other place. You know, we might as well include Joe's hot dogs. They didn't do anything wrong, but whatever. Let's change this to that. Ah, yes. Thanks, game. That's definitely what I meant. Ah, whatever. It gets the point across. So the game is kind enough to let us know that there's a couple of things we need to do, such as we need at least one product. We need a cash register and shopping baskets. He's still my heart. This is all too exciting. Let's start with a cash register, which you might be wondering, where does one go for that? Well, that's easy. The furniture store. Let's go take a look in fake Ikea. I'm so excited to go shopping. Me and all these other people. Oh, are we going in as a group? Is that what's happening? I love watching these customers do their thing. Just ransacking everything. I don't think I would have it any other way. Now, I'm civilized, and that's why I'm getting a cart. Out of the way, everybody. Serious shopper coming through. Don't forget, this is for your business. So let's get one of these forever alone beds. Ooh, and also maybe a plant. My God, this really does feel like real Ikea, doesn't it? Well, I definitely don't remember doing this when I was shopping at Ikea. Just cruising down the street. Pardon me, day drinkers. I have a bed for one I need to put together. And here we are. And now that we have our supplies here, we get to do something even more fun. Individually 
unpack the boxes. And let's place that. Oh, I don't know. There we go. Perfect. And we'll put the plant right here so people have to walk the other direction. Oh, yeah. Looking great. And wouldn't you know, it's bedtime. <laughs> oh, my God. Look how he sleeps. Now that is the sleep of kings. Okay. And now that we're up again, we got a big day ahead of us. We actually bought none of the things we need. Turns out I went to the wrong store. We didn't need the furniture store. We needed the office supplies store. Let's go on an adventure. Oh, I think this is the place. Yes, this place right here. You wouldn't know it, of course, because their sign is all the way up here. Although I'm not seeing the cash register machines, which is what I thought I needed. Hello, I would like some assistance, please. Well, looks like we're at the wrong store again. Where the hell are we supposed to be? Oh, I bet it's the appliance store, isn't it? Oh, silly me. I went to the wrong place again. Okay, here we are. Square appliances. Your local supplier of quality products. God, I certainly hope so. Finally, there they are. Hi, I would like to buy things. Hold on. I'm, I don't have good control of my shopping cart. Hey, you. Want to be Twitch streamer? Ring up all my crap. Let's see. Where should we put the shopping carts? Can we put them in here? In the break room? As a matter of fact, we can. So the people have to awkwardly go all the way over here to get one. And then we'll put our cash register right back over here. Yes, good. And finally, our shelving units. Okay, good. What a weird, gross looking storefront. Complete with the owner just Blair Witching in the corner. But we still need a product. God, so needy. I'm gonna assume that's the wholesale store. Oh, hey, and you know what it turns out? You can use taxis to get places. Well, don't mind if I do. Wow, only $25? Do you bring the cart with me? And the answer is yes. What a deal. Oh, wow. It's a warehouse, all right. Complete with all the little things we might need. Oh, here's what we're looking for. Expensive and cheap flowers. But I think it's time we did some shopping in style with a different piece of equipment. You know, I don't know what it is, but this feels like it's gonna be a bad idea. Oh, well, not a me problem. Anyway, let's just go pick up some flowers. Yep, this seems like enough of them, right? Either I would like to buy these things, please. No, I don't want to look you in the eyes. You can only buy boxes which are in your hands, on a hand truck, or in your car's trunk. My car's trunk? Wait right here. I'll be right back. I didn't know we could buy our own car. Well, Shiver Me Timbers, a car dealership. Okay, so we've got general US trucks, but further down the street, it looks like we've got city cars. And the car options are kind of what you think they would be, which is nice, but I sure would love to know what the other people down the street have to offer. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Yeah, pretty sure the option is clear. And obviously Pepto-Bismol pink. Well, I like this already. Okay, bye. Okay, now it says drive in, so let's do it. <laughs> oh my god. I gotta admit, I wasn't expecting this, but I guess it makes the forklift make more sense. You seem remarkably calm, considering what just happened behind you. Okay, wait, hang on. Before we proceed any further, I have to know something else. You know how when we first entered, there was a bunch of physics magic? Well, now I have to know something, which is what happens when we buy and drive in multiple trucks. Okay, I think I'm doing really well on the truck front. We've got not just one amazing truck here, but we've also got a second one, and a third one, and fourth, and fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, and eleventh. Actually, I miscounted. I think there's twelve. Anyway, let's work on getting these trucks inside. Okay, so here's one. Already stuck. Awesome. And two. And three. Oh, yeah. This is what we like to see. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh. Oh, oh, yep, this is going about as well as I could have hoped. Truck goes in, mess comes out. There we go. Turns out you can fit a lot of trucks in this place. And that's really great that they don't seem very threatened by it. But maybe people do this all the time, I don't know. I'm new to the shipping business. Okay, well, time to get out and... Uh-oh. No available position found for the character. Please move the vehicle to another location. Um, I don't know if I can do that. Why can't I just crawl down from here? Well, I guess we have no choice but to just wait and pass out in the truck. Well, turns out I was wrong. We're still here. No energy in sight and still no way to get out of the vehicle. Never mind. I passed out. <gasps> <laughs> oh, those EMTs. They just knew I wouldn't be able to part with my semi. Unfortunately, we can't drive this thing around because it's totally broken. But at least I get free parking. And more than that, we need to see if we can do this with more vehicles. All right, let's try this again. Surely we can get at least one more truck stuck, right? Only one way to find out. Easy, easy. You're doing so good. Oh, and there we go. The blessed message. I don't think you're supposed to be able to pass out in your truck. But because our character can't leave the vehicle, when you try, you're out of the vehicle for like one frame before being forced back in. And that's the magic. <laughs> Oh, no. Why would this guy choose this seat? What kind of death wish do you have? Oh, God, I don't even know if I can get out of here. Why is there only one exit in a hospital? Oh, oh, 
Wait, wait, I think I just lodged it. Well, this doesn't seem physically possible with the truck sticking out past the boundaries of the level. And also, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. But more importantly, look, there's the exit. Now we can continue being a menace. You know, this is probably good enough for now. I think we've hit maximum truck occupancy for this hospital. You know what? I think my guy is too old and too rich to care about running an active business. You want to know what I somehow forgot about? I own this building. Let's just kick him out. Well, that was easy. Now let's check out our old map here and locate all the florist shops in the city. And let's do what any aspiring billionaire does. Unfairly buys out the competition. Hello there, other gray store. And now I could pay over a million dollars to send them a business overtake offer, but I would rather just buy the entire building for 10 times that, just so I can kick them out instead. Sorry, Grace. Looks like you're gonna have to go somewhere else. Oh, and look, there's another one. Maybe I should leave this one alone. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, I think this is Grace's last flower shop and we're gonna do something a little special this time which is we're gonna send a business takeover offer congratulations you're the new owner and now we're gonna change the name i'm grace and i suck yeah we did it everybody we exacted petty revenge on someone we've never seen and doesn't deserve it it feels good to be rich and you know what else i don't think we need that miracle cure i think we can just die happy i want to thank dislight again for sponsoring this video if you want to check them out there's a link in the description or a qr code covering this casket. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. And I'll see you next time.